it's an everyday thing and it affects you emotionally, mentally, physically. It affects you in every aspect of your life. She's not here. It's, it's a void that cannot be filled. Carla, we miss her. Carla, she was a beautiful soul. She has a curious mind. She's always asking about everything, always wanting to know about everything. And um, she was always excelling in her studies. She was always very smart. She was always very timid though. She was always very shy. It was very hard for her to make friends. And, and I would tell her all the time, Miha, you're so pretty. No, I'm not, mom. I was like, yes, you are, Carla. And I was like, if, you could, if I could give you something in life, it would for you to see yourself through my eyes and see how beautiful you truly are. He says, I love my mom because her smile is the most beautiful thing I have ever come across. There was a boy in her class. He was um, always asking her why she didn't like Trump. And uh, it was like an everyday thing. She was being pushed and shoved. They, she, they would spit at her. Imagine every day going through stuff like that. When she was in the hospital, she was still coherent, and I asked her, like, why did, why did you do this, you know? Why did, why did you do this? And she said, Mom, I'm just so tired of people hurting me. I'm just so tired of the pain. I recorded her because I thought I wanted her to see it so that when she came out of it, I showed her so she'll never do it again. I didn't know she was dying. I'm a suicide survivor, so I never thought that she wouldn't make it. She didn't even last 24 hours. And she died. My daughter realized what she had done. She asked for help because she was just a child. She got scared after she did what she did. She didn't want to die. She wanted to end her pain. I buried her and I still hope she'll walk through my door and say, hey mom, I'm home. I wish that all these teens that think every day that their life is not worth living would reconsider and know how important they are and how much they're loved, <laughs> loved beyond measure. Happy birthday, dear Carla. Happy birthday to you. The best thing that you can do is truly love your child. Listen to them. Listen when they are in pain. Give them the best help that they can get. Don't leave anything to the end. Don't wait. Just do it.